I went through all of them in a matter of days. I just thought they were in, they were incredible. I mean, it was this futuristic Joan of Arc, and and I also loved how. I mean, it's hard to say true about something that's in the future because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But when you look at what's on reality television and just um, kind of history repeating itself, it's actually incredibly relevant. And I thought it was I thought it was a very important story to be told. When we first meet Katniss, she lives in District 12, which is a poor district, but she hunts and she loves the forest, she loves the woods, she loves her little sister. And she's got a pretty great life um, under the circumstances. She's, she's happy, she likes to hunt. And then she gets, her little sister, who's 12, gets chosen for the Hunger Games. Cinna is played by Lenny Kravitz, one of my very dear friends. He's, he's awesome. And he's so perfect for this part because he, Lenny has just this, such a gentle persona where he just makes everybody comfortable, which is hard to do when you're a huge rock star and everybody knows who you are. But he, he has this ability of just making everybody feel very comfortable and, and, he, and he's very gentle. And Cinna has that ability to make somebody feel comfortable. Gary Ross called me while I was in the studio recording my album and um, said, I'm doing this movie Hunger Games. I'd like you to play the part of Cinna. And if you want the part, you've got it. You don't have to audition. You don't have to do anything. Just show up. And um, I thought that was quite an amazing phone call because uh, I've only made a couple of films. And uh, it's just beautiful to get a role like that. So I hadn't read the book and uh, had the book sent to me and because uh, I was on an island in the middle of nowhere. Read the book and uh, fell in love with the book. Couldn't put it down. What makes Katniss endearing to me is the fact that she's, she's the underdog, you know? She's this girl from this District 12, you know? And um, she's probably the most unlikely person to win and um, she just becomes this amazing heroine. Katniss Everdeen is played by Jennifer Lawrence, and I think that Jennifer is an amazing actress. I knew her before doing this um, because she was in X-Men with my daughter Zoe, and um, so I've been watching her now for a couple of years. And I just think that she's got so much talent. Um, and I think, I mean, to me, she's like a young Meryl Streep. You know, she's got a lot of range and people are gonna see a lot coming from her. And I just think that she is the character. From the moment I arrived to the set, um, she just embodied Katniss's spirit. For me, Peta was an amazing character. Um, I fell in love with him right away. Uh, and what was crazy to me is I've never seen a character that was so much of who I am as a person. I just feel like his kind of self-deprecating humor, his, his outlook on life and, and how he doesn't want things to change him um, was really kind of a part of who I am as a person. And you know, being in this business at a young age from nine years old, you know, there's a lot of times where you can let things change you and, and let people have a big effect on you, but just making sure that you stay true to who you are and, and what your value system is was really important to me since a young age and I think that's something that that was really attracted to me about PETA because that's how I am as a person as well. I come from District 2 um, and yes I'm a career tribute which means that um, we've been trained since we were children to uh, as, as basically trained fighters and we are very skilled dangerous people and uh, we're put into the arena, and it's actually illegal what we're doing, but you know they have such a affluent and wealthy district that they're able to get away with it. Um, but everyone knows this kind of exists. It's kind of like a uh, everybody everybody knows what's going on, but nobody really says anything. So uh, all the other districts are told to watch out for us when we get into the arena because we are a great threat, and usually. Um, it is our districts that prevail. 
Rue is from District 11, and she, did, she doesn't have much to eat, even though her district is in charge of agriculture, meaning they send food to the capital. Rue, is, she's very good at scavenging for food, so she knows that she can survive. And she's also, she's very good at climbing trees, and she can swing from branch to branch, and also she, she, um, she's very musical. So she uses the mocking jays in the trees to send messages back and forth to Katniss. People are definitely going to like the movie if they read the book <laughs> because it's like taking the book and when you turn it into this kind of real thing, it just makes everything so much more vivid and so much more exciting. And I think it's really gonna be like a heart pounding exciting movie and it's going to be it's going to be great